Hi, I'm Dr. Simon Freilich, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to program a keypoint.net into performing cutaneous silent periods. So I'm first going to demonstrate the endpoint, which is what it looks like, and then I'm going to show you how to do the keypoint settings. So we always have the ground on, we put the active over the belly of the APB, the indifference over the tendon insertion. And uh, you can see over here, I'm using ring electrodes. This will just be a little bit easier for uh, demonstration purposes, given that I'm doing this all myself. And I've uh, hooked them up into the uh, stim trailer and I've increased the uh, current here to 33 milliamps. So that's going to hurt a little bit. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just activate the sound and you'll hear me contracting my APB. Like so, but I really want to generate some good force. So I'm going to just push over here like so. And then I'm going to activate the stim trailer. Not the most pleasant of tests. What I'm going to do is label up the traces and I'm going to be, because I'm using the H reflex program, I've got the M and the H latencies um, for the, in terms of the markers of which to place down on here. Um, we'll have to change that later on in the report itself. Now sometimes it can be quite useful to superimpose the traces so that you can see very clearly where the silent period really is and you can do that just by clicking the superimpose and you can use the marker system here very easily to determine the latency of start and of course the latency of uh, offset of the cutaneous silent period and work out the uh, latency in between uh, either by shortest one or an average or however you wish to calculate it so um, that's how you do it and that's what the endpoint of all of this is. Now let me show you how you program it in. What we're trying to achieve here is to be able to record surface EMG whilst also providing an electrical stimulus and to be able to record the latencies of the cutaneous silent period. Now there isn't a native option of measuring this in the keypoint.net program and so this is effectively a hack of the H reflex which will allow us to do this. I should also note that I have tried doing this on the Keypoint Classic software, but I was unable to manipulate the H Reflex program in the same way. So this is purely a solution for Keypoint.net users. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Options button. And in our Applications list, we have to go to our program. Now this starts off actually with our template design, like so. Um, you can see a list down here of test templates, and what you're going to do is you're going to start with the H reflex one. Now you can see how I've already labeled up CSP for the cutaneous silent period here, and it's the template type is H reflex, but we're just going to go through this from the top for your benefit. So let's start with the H reflex over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it, like so. Then we're going to double click into it and we're going to change its name. So ordinarily what you would do is just type in CSP, but for our purposes, because I've already done this, um, we're going to call this CSP2. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to where it says H test result and we're going to make sure that in the boxes over here to the right where my cursors are, um, they'll have the relevant measurements. Now, um, if you're just coming in from the usual H reflex program, often you have the amplitudes as well for the M uh, amplitude and H latency and H amplitude, um, which all come down from this table over here. And all you simply have to do is just locate them in the table and click add to get the latencies across and to remove any amplitudes which are just cluttering up the screen. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our anatomy set down here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put in the medianus really. So we're going to just remove tibia this over there. And then we're going to go to the settings. 
So over here, we've got signal type, that's going to be the H reflex. The nerve is going to be the median nerve. Stimulating position, uh, let's just edit that. And we are going to put a new one in, uh, which is going to be finger two, or digit two. whatever you prefer. Close. And then that's in the stimulating position. Recording position here is going to be the APB. And now we're going to go to the signal definition. Um, and what we have to do over here is we have to change a number of these settings. So we're, the first one we're going to change is the sweep speed. So we're going to switch that to 50 milliseconds per division. So um, if you can see a little uh, linkage sign over here, um, it kind of locks the system. So you have to sort of click on it so you can unlock it. So let's switch that to 50 milliseconds per division. Let's keep the sensitivity uh, as it is 0.5 millivolts per division. If we wanted, we could slide up to us. We can do, we can make it maybe one if we want. Doesn't really matter. Um, filters as they are. Um, now, the triggering is HSTEM, which is absolutely appropriate. Now, we want to change the trigger delay to minus 100. And what that allows us to do is to um, capture activity occurring 100 milliseconds before the stimulation has been delivered, because it's in free running mode. And so uh, it's useful to have that too. The recording length we're going to change, and we're going to change that to two seconds. Uh, well obviously we'll keep the speaker on, uh, internal trigger uh, as is. Um, and then over here, we just need to make sure everything is ticked off appropriately. So we've got the M takeoff latency and the H takeoff latency, those we want to include. The negative amplitude, we don't want that um, in it because we're just purely looking out for the latencies and then we click OK. Let's move back and back. And over here, you can see CSP2 over here, like so. Now that we have sorted out the test template design, so you can see CSP2 over there, we now have to go to the menu design. And so uh, let's just pop this with reflexes. I'll just keep it over there. Make it, click on the start, test template. And you can see at the bottom of all this CSP2. So there it is, it's now in our list. Well, that just make sure that's clicked on save. Let's go back to home, new study. Let's just make sure this is working. And you can see over there, there it is, CSP2 and Medianus. Excellent. And this is all lovely and uh, good to go. The final part of this is to try and make sure that in the reports there is the least amount of typing necessary. So I'm going to show you how to now set up your report system to include this data and to manipulate the H data into a looking like the cutaneous silent period. Um, so here goes. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to go to your options and then you go to system on top and then you're going to select report. Then you choose your particular report program that you normally would use. In my case, it's one called Report. And then if you don't already have your H reflex um, data and curves in the list on the right, then what you do is you have to add report element. And so um, it's on the left over here. And uh, you just go down H data and curves, click that, and then click the enter assigned to the right of that and then it'll be at the bottom of the list and you can see I've actually got this three times down there that's from demonstration purposes for preparing this. The next aspect of this is we now want to put in the relevant uh, headers uh, and units so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit okay and we're going to have um, basically three children over here so add child add child add child um, and then we split those into two and then we can type in um, over here our s1 latency and in the box next to that the s2 latency and then the cutaneous silent period which will be the difference between the two we'll then put in the units so milliseconds for all of those 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the parameters. So remember, of course, that we've used the H and M latencies. So the first one we put in is the M takeoff latency under the S1 latency. And then for the S2 latency, no surprises, it's going to be the H takeoff latency. Click OK. And then for the difference between the two, we're going to put in the HM latency difference there. And we'll change the element header to the CSP and we'll click OK. Also, you have to change that on the report element there as well, just so you know which one's which. Let's now check through what the report will look like. And just to highlight an important point here, because we have effectively used the H reflex to record the cutaneous silent period, it's now going to appear twice in our report. Firstly, under its own H data and curves, and secondly, under its own heading of CSP. If you carefully note as well, you can see the changes that we've enacted here to the cutaneous silent period. We have the S1 latency, the S2 latency, and the cutaneous silent period here, all labeled very nicely. All you simply have to do now is to select H data and curves from that aspect and that element of the report and delete it. And there you go. That's your cutaneous silent period all sorted. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please do support this channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Many thanks for your continued support.